Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw for Virtual Vacation Events, The New Age of Luxury. And we're here today uh, with one of our keynote presentations. We're going to talk with Lisa Ludoff Perlow, who's the president and CEO of Celebrity Cruises. Now, why celebrity? Well, the answer is celebrity is really becoming a luxury product if it wasn't already so before. And we're going to learn all about how that's happened under Lisa's uh, leadership. And you're going to find out about what she thinks luxury is today, whether it's small ships, medium sized ships, or larger ships. Now, Lisa, we wanted to talk to you about what is going on with celebrity under your leadership. And uh, because you definitely have worked to upscale the brand, uh, you just uh, unveiled actually the features for your new Celebrity Beyond, uh, which is the third ship in the Edge series. And it really has, I think it's all things luxury, incredible suites, high-end dining venues, great entertainment, lots of space. And I thought, this is luxury. So is that what you're focusing on now, kind of delivering a luxury experience on a, a, a somewhat larger ship? Um, thanks for the question, Jim. And yes, absolutely. You know, I think that uh, over the seven years that I've been fortunate enough to be in this position, um, we've really tried to raise the bar here at Celebrity. I have long felt that there's this beautiful position between premium and ultra luxury that was vacant and just screaming for a brand to own and occupy. And it's so perfect for celebrity. You know, we're award winning, um, we're the culinary brand. And I think that it's long been thought in our industry that you couldn't deliver a luxurious experience at scale. And I think that uh, Vegas and Steve Wynn especially proved right. that theory wrong. Sure. And so we set out here at Celebrity to also prove that theory wrong. And I think um, with the Edge series especially, and now to your point beyond, I think, uh, I think we're there. Yeah, so really you have evolved from sort of being upper end of the premium market to being yeah. in the luxury market yeah. with this Edge series. And, and beyond is another level within the Edge series, it seems, right? It is, you know, we, it's, you know, listen, we've both been doing this for a really long time and we've been in this industry for quite a while. And I've introduced a lot of different ships uh, I and mean, a couple of brands in our company. And I know that there's always a need to continue to push the envelope and continue to elevate um, uh, each ship in a series of ships to keep your attention and your interest and your enthusiasm, as well as our guests and the consumers and trade. So, yeah, we really tried to go beyond with Celebrity Beyond, and I think we've done a great job in that regard. Well, uh, we're looking forward to finally seeing this ship. As we know, we're, 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 we all think about these ships, and then we, we haven't had a chance to launch one. I was supposed to be with you last year on the second Edge series, and hopefully I'll be a, get a chance to be with you for the Beyond series. So, But then the other thing you've done, and we actually did an interview with you earlier on this, you instituted or you implemented Always Included program yes. last year yes. that yes. You, you are sort of we, as we emerged from the pan pandemic, you did that. Do you think this helps you also better position your product in the luxury space? And also just remind us what Always Included is, okay? So Always Included is a more inclusive vacation experience. And so what we decided was we were going to price and market our cruises so that they would include the things that our guests tell us uh, not only our guests, but even people who are interested in taking a cruise are most important to them. Wi-Fi, very important to sure. everybody, including the two of us, right? Um, gratuities, tips for the crew, and also beverages. And when we just, uh, so we decided when we emerged from um, the situation we've been in over this last year, we were going to do it with a new strategic direction. And we've also done a lot of research that tells us that people who buy luxury experiences are looking for simplicity. They right. don't want to buy the cruise and then have to figure out what else they need to purchase on top of that. They, they want um, a vacation, they're willing to pay for it and they want a vacation that includes the things that are most important to them. And so yes, it was another thing that we did to start positioning ourselves more in the luxury space than the upper premium space. Well, again, and you're sort of effectively revolutionizing or, or I don't know, maybe it's back to the future too, because yeah. you know, we, we used to, luxury ships were larger ships, you know, right. think of right. the great canard liners, right. uh, the great, you know, the French yeah. line, things like that. Yeah. Why couldn't a luxury ship uh, be a larger ship? And I'm not saying an ultra larger ship, you know, right. 
we're not right. trying to do an oasis class, although who knows, maybe someday. Uh, uh, you know, but but would you say that that you're going back to an era where larger ships can be considered luxury? You know, I didn't really think about it in that regard. I thought more about what do people want right now and what do I think um, people want in the future? Again, right. we've done a lot of consumer research. Uh, we've worked with strategy companies. We've, we've worked with futurists to say, what does luxury look like in the future? And when we thought about celebrity, it just fit so perfectly that right. um, we felt like we had a huge opportunity. And yeah, I guess uh, everything that's old is new again, certainly sure. uh, in so many ways, but it wasn't what really drove us. It was more, you know, what are people looking for now and how has luxury changed? No, absolutely. Now let, let's drill down a little bit there because you know, in terms of in the terms of the accommodations you've offered, I mean, boy, these sweet products that you're developing, uh, at least for the new ship, and I think you have them on the uh, the earlier series too. They're incredibly large and spacious, with kind of features that you know, actually, many of the smaller ships can't duplicate. Is that That's what you're right. trying to do here? Yeah. Yes. So you know, it all started with Celebrity Edge and Kelly Hoffman and what she did with our retreat experience, and when we thought about truly elevating uh, the sweet concept, uh, we, we soon saw that what we were able to do with Kelly Hoffman on Celebrity Edge between the resort sun deck for the right. suites and also Luminae, the restaurant, and then of course the beautiful suites and the new Edge Villas and the new iconic suites. It took our, it took our suite category, which we now call the retreat to a whole new level. Sure. And then what we decided to do is go back and retrofit that to the rest of the fleet and now um, we also have Celebrity Apex and with Beyond, what was really nice is that because we lengthened the ship a little bit and also made it one deck higher, these spaces have become even more spectacular. Right. Um, uh, with Lumine at the very forward end of the ship and also a two level retreat sun deck for our suite guests. So yeah, it's quite extraordinary and it also helps us create sort of a ship within a ship. No, and it's it's great, and I've, I've I saw the earlier versions of things, and now with this beyond is just another level. But and let's go to the dining front too, because yeah. uh, I, I actually there was a press event you had a couple. It seems like it was last year, but it wasn't. It was two it years wasn't. Ago. It uh, was. Yeah. It was with Daniel Boulou, uh, yeah. and I think we had the ballet theater or something. Yes. One of the most yes. enjoyable evenings I've had, and probably one of the best meals that Boulou actually. Uh, but. You're, you're affiliated with him. You're, you've enlisted him as your kind of consulting chef. So obviously that's a very fine, high level of dining experience on par with really the top luxury ships in the market today. Is that, is that your goal and that's what you're trying to do? Well, you know, we've always been known as the culinary brand. We've been highly awarded for being uh, the culinary brand. And um, we are very fortunate that our head of culinary, Cornelius Gallagher, uh, is a very good friend and also was a student of Chef uh, Danielle Ballou. Okay. And he has never partnered with a cruise line before. And because of what we do at Celebrity, after he engaged with Cornelius, he was very happy to partner with us. And our partnership has been going on for a couple of years. He contributes to our um, menus in Lumine for our retreat right. guests. And we always wanted, when we uh, partnered with him, we always wanted this relationship to culminate in a restaurant on board, a, a Danielle Belloud restaurant. Right. And now on Celebrity Beyond, Le Voyage uh, will be his first ever oh. uh, restaurant at sea. And we're quite excited about it. And, and so is he. Well, that's wonderful. And I, I, I have first dibs on dinner with you in that restaurant. Okay, right? that's I, a deal. I want to see that one. That's amazing. I, yeah. and, but, but, you know, just beyond Boulou. Uh, you also have so many choices in dining. I mean, something that maybe a smaller ship, uh, I mean, some of them are trying to do that, but there's no way they have this, the capacity yeah. that you have in terms of offering choice. Well, that's another reason why luxury at scale is so important. It really is choice. You know, you have these beautiful, luxurious environments that are quite approachable, comfortable, elegant, sophisticated. And then you have, you know, you have Lumine for the retreat guests, but you also have all of this great dining and smaller dining venues also yeah. on the Edge series for the rest of our guests. And um, I have to say that when we introduced Edge um, with the four uh, main dining rooms, if you will, all with sort of a different theme and different focus on their menus. Uh, it was wildly popular and so well received by our guests. And again, Celebrity Beyond just, you know, continues that tradition as well as 
adding this uh, Danielle Ballou restaurant as well. So yes, there's a lot of great choices. No, and that's really what luxury is all about, is choice. Uh, and and, and, and is, you want to go to an intimate restaurant, you can do that one night, you know, like, like we do in New York, you know? So yep. it's the same yep. thing. Now, now let's talk about entertainment. And obviously the size of your ships really gives you a lot more to, yes. to work with and provide sort of major new entertainment choices and performances. And, and uh, really, is that the goal here is to have uh, a real choice in entertainment as well? Yeah, you know, again, um, people like to do different things on different nights and it's the size of our ships does give us that opportunity for our guests to um, enjoy as much or as little as they want, uh, but certainly the larger ships give us an opportunity for our guests to um, you know, do something different and new every night and keep them interested and excited for seven, nine, 10 or 12 nights. And it just so happens, uh, I just saw the show concepts for Celebrity Beyond. Right. And again, they're quite exciting, quite wonderful. The technology in the theater is amazing. And I can't wait for you and um, hopefully a lot of this audience to experience uh, Celebrity Apex because again, the theater is so fabulous and the shows are just extraordinary. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I mean, one of the things I've always thought, uh, I love the luxury products that we have in the market today, the smaller ships, and there's times I do like smaller ships, but entertainment is not something that comes to mind when, right. when uh, at, in the evening. Uh, it's adequate, it's, well, adequate's not the right word. Sometimes it's good, uh, but there's not a lot of choice. It's really one thing and it's a small theater and there's not much you can do with it. So right. you're sure. gonna have something totally, you know, you know, you can have major productions, you can do all kinds of things. And so I think that's going to be a real plus and it's going to be a new form of luxury because obviously luxury is entertainment choices, right? Yeah. And spa too. You know, you think about oh, wellness right. and in the luxury space, wellness is so important and wellness is the, is the fastest growing segment of the travel market and sure. what consumers are spending most money on. And Again, these beautiful spas that you're able to have on these larger ships and all of the services and amenities you're able to offer is so important to the luxury traveler today. And our ships also enable that. And wellness is so important. It became one of celebrities brand pillars uh, very recently uh, because it, it's just becoming more and more important to what people are looking for on their vacation. It's going to be even more important moving forward. So is all of this space and all of this outdoor space. And so I think, I think as a larger ship offering a luxurious experience, I think we're going to be perfectly positioned for the luxury traveler who wants more of the open space and, um, and more uh, choice. And our space ratio on all of our ships is extremely generous. Well, I do remember, I think it was one of your first of the Edge series. I was walking around and you were walking around. I walked through the spa and I was like, this is massive. This is a huge spa. Yeah, and that is. was on the first, you know. Yeah. So now you're, you're you know, an another level in, in Celebrity Beyond. And, and Apex, which we were supposed to see last year, uh, which, you know, we still, all these ships that we haven't, you know, that we're supposed to be uh, here. And then, you know, we're, we're worrying about the next ones already. But you're right. right space is so important. Uh, and, and I think you have more than enough space for people to have an, a luxurious experience on board these edge uh, vessels. But let's talk a little bit about the destinations visited by luxury ships. Yeah. What, are, what are you trying to do with celebrity with your itineraries, kind of make them a little bit stand out, make them different and really suitable for the luxury market? Yeah. So, you know, what we've decided and what we have the opportunity, I think, with celebrity is to continue to appeal to um, um, or maybe fine tune our demographic and psychographic segmentation that we're going after. And we're highly focused on the Gen X luxury traveler. And we're and we know that you know, we've done a lot of research and we understand a lot about them and we know that they like shorter itineraries. And so celebrity is moving to um lower our average cruise length by a couple of days over the next five years. So a couple of days is actually a lot when you think about it. Yeah. And, and do these amazing itineraries, perhaps leaving from more interesting places in terms of the ports of embarkation and doing more uh, country intensive and, uh, and area intensive vacations in shorter periods of time to attract uh, a broader audience to, uh, to our brand because I think we have a, a big opportunity for that, especially the, the way our ships are designed and also the experience that we create on board. And I think that's another thing that 
is really important as you think about our industry, and I will only speak for our industry because right. I know the most about it, is that you know you need to bring more people into into our our industry and we need to bring younger people into our industry and so i think celebrities position in, in this new luxury space with um a larger uh, footprint so that people can enjoy more things is really going to attract uh, more and younger people in that take luxury vacations into the cruise category no and that's that's so important because clearly uh, we have to get the next generation on board these yep. luxury ships as well and and i think in you know sort of in your view and you've you've been in cruising a long time i mean i've been we, we've been kind of growing up together here in this business and uh i've watched as you you have you know you've done a, such an incredible job with celebrity do you think that really luxury cruising has changed i mean it's really everybody's focused on the space and now here you come with something I would say different, um, yeah. uh, and, and, and it, it, you're really changing it with celebrity. Well, I think luxury has changed. I think how people feel about luxury and how they want to engage in luxury, they don't want it to be pretentious. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be small. It has to be comfortable. Um, and it also, you know, I think it's also important to, to focus on what celebrity cares about as well, right? Yeah. Which is uh, positive impact tourism and eliminating 90% of single use plastics and continuing to do things that are environmentally friendly and supporting diversity and inclusion and, and so many um, gender equality. And those are the things that also uh, people care about and that our brand stands for. So you have this beautiful combination of this amazing, luxurious, experience that we dub new luxury for a changing consumer and how they view luxury right. and i think we've we've found this intersection of those two things that's quite unique to celebrity and quite compelling for somebody looking for you know a luxury vacation with a brand that cares about the same things that they do no and that's that's absolutely true and i and it's much more concerning you know for travelers today are cared about the do care about these things and that they are going to look for brands that you know follow their beliefs and their value systems so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this works with you now obviously you're we're talking we're going out to travel advisors uh, they are going to be trying and they, they're going to be selling celebrity in the market how would you position uh celebrity today against you know some of these small ship luxury lines in the market you know that they've been they, they you know fortunately for literally the last 10 15 years we've been conditioned as we were talking about earlier so oh well small intimate boutique is luxury but now here you got celebrity coming in well you can do this too with, with that yeah, yeah. Tell, uh travel advisors or suggest to travel advisors they try to sell uh celebrity today well, you know, I think our sales organization does an amazing job, as does our marketing organization, and in, in really talking about the things about celebrity that are special. But again, I go back to the best of both worlds. I go back to, you know, you have this small retreat experience. And I've talked to a lot of luxury guests who have come to um, celebrity and who have experienced the retreat. And they tell me this as well. You get the best of both worlds. You get this exclusive small environment but yet you have access to so much that keeps the vacation um, and your cruise experience so interesting. And that's why I think celebrity is so perfectly positioned and why we really don't belong in the upper premium space, right. nor do we belong in the pure ultra luxury space. It's, right. a, it's again, this beautiful niche category of one that we occupy that if I'm a travel advisor, you know, I've got the best of both worlds to sell my client. And you know, they're not going to come back and say it wasn't good enough and they're not going to come back and say it was too small or there wasn't enough to do. Um, they're going to, you know, they're going to say they had this amazingly luxurious experience um, on a ship that was spectacular. And, sure. and I think that's kind of what I would say to a travel advisor. And the same thing that I enjoy so much about our cruises as well. And, uh, and have, I've experienced all of them. And I just think that our position is, is just perfect. Yeah, so obviously, you know, the range of ship sizes is gonna be, you're gonna have a, a wide range of ship sizes that's yeah. gonna be considered uh, a luxury, including your own. And, and that's how you think luxury is gonna evolve in the future, so there's gonna be more choice? 
I believe so. Yeah. And that's what, at least that's what the research is telling us. Um, there's always, listen, there's a place for all of us, which is another reason I love this industry. Um, there's a place for the ultra luxury small ships. Certainly they're wonderful. I take nothing away from them. I just think that how we at celebrity have thought about celebrity is in a different way and bringing luxury uh, to a slightly larger scale than most people are used to in our, in our industry anyway. No, absolutely. So no, nothing, nothing against our friend Mark Conroy over at Silver Sea. I don't want to get him upset, but you know, I think you nothing. offer luxury too. You know, I talked to Mark a lot. In fact, I just finished an a interview with him recently, but it was, it's interesting uh, about the whole restart. And that actually leads me to, uh, you know, this, the pandemic, you know, what do you believe the pandemic has done to kind of change the luxury cruise segment specifically? Has it changed it at all? Uh, are we going to emerge from this and really go back to what luxury was before or we're going to forge ahead and really remake what luxury is? Um, I don't know that it will be much different, Jim. I think that it will be mostly the same. Certainly there will be things we'll all do a little differently and in an elevated way post this pandemic uh, because it's important that we continue to focus on those, not just because of the pandemic, but just in general. Uh, but, you know, one of the things that I think people want is just to get back to back to their life and back to the, their life the way they knew it. And so while there will be some changes that will be permanent, I think that people just want to just want to um, live their lives in a normal way. And I, I see us starting back up um, a little differently than when we left, because of course we have our new yeah. positioning, we have our new ships, um, we have some uh, elevated uh, sanitation protocols. But other than that, um, I just think we've gotten stronger in the luxury space and uh, I'm really excited about the future and I'm excited that our guests and consumers just want to get back to traveling around the world uh, in the way that's comfortable for them. Absolutely. And we're all looking forward to that. And I guess I've asked this question a little earlier, but I sort of really want to drill down to, so here we are, we're going to be selling this new luxury for larger ships what are kind of the key points that travel advisors should be making with their clients? Is, is it the, the choice? Is it the choice in dining, uh, the choice in entertainment, obviously the choice in suites and, and, and spa? Uh, these are the things that really they have to say, look, you can go on a smaller vessel. They're wonderful. But if you want a little more space and you want to have not to have to go to the same few restaurants, we're going to have, I don't know, 10 restaurants for you, you know? So is that where they should be heading when they're trying to sell celebrity in the future? Well, you know, one of the things that I've always admired about our travel advisors for the last 36 years that I've been doing this is they really know how to qualify their customer, right? And I think that all of those points that you made are very valid, but to different people for different reasons. And so if I'm, if I'm selling to someone that wants um, this, you know, new modern luxury experience, celebrity is the clear choice because it has these myriad of options. If you are, um, you know, if you're looking for someone that wants a great wellness vacation because they, you know, we're coming out of this thing and, and self-care is so important right. to us all. Why would you not sell Celebrities Wellness Program with our Aqua Class um, accommodations and now our Aqua Class Suites on um, Celebrity Beyond and our amazing treatments and our partnership with Gwyneth Paltrow and just all of the things that we're offering in this, in this wellness space. If, if people want a small exclusive environment, you can't get any better than the retreat. I mean, it's impossible. I've, yeah. I've, I scan the universe on ships and somebody that wants this lovely exclusive experience within this broader experience, you can't beat celebrity and you certainly can't beat the retreat. So I, I think, you know, what I would tell our travel advisors is to continue what they've been doing, really qualify the customer. But I would suggest that if somebody wants a great dining experience, it doesn't get better than Danielle Ballou. No, and I don't he, think I don't think so. I think you're right. <laughs> I know. And he's on beyond with his own restaurant, but he's contributing to our um, menus across our entire fleet. So, right. you know, we talk about our edge series, but so much of what we've done on our edge series, we put back into the rest of the fleet. So, uh, you know, I think that um, I, I you be hard pressed to, to not be able to sell someone on a celebrity cruise regardless of the things that are really important to them in their vacation. Well Lisa I want to thank you for taking the time to explain celebrity. Uh, you know I've been watching and saying wait a minute 
she's heading into that luxury space. You know, it's been amazing the choices that I've seen. And obviously, we've been sort of hibernating for the past year, and we haven't had a chance to see the ships. I was supposed to be on Apex last year, and hopefully I'll get on it one of these days to take a look. But uh, you are really doing a magnificent job of uh, recreating celeb celebrity and, and almost re really rebranding and reimagining it, which I think as a luxury vessel, which is why uh, I, I really was eager to, to chat with you today, because I, I do think luxury doesn't have to meet small. There can be a larger options, and I think you're demonstrating that uh, completely. So thank you so much for, for letting us know all about this, and uh, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, be part of the, the virtual vacation events. Well, Jim, as always, my friend, it's such a great, great uh, time talking with you. And I so appreciate your comments about celebrity and all we've done here. Uh, coming from you, that's a huge compliment. So thank you very much. Good luck with the conference and sell celebrity, everyone. We're, we're, it's, it's a great brand uh, with a beautiful experience for all your guests. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Virtual Vacation Events, the new age of luxury. And please go visit the booths that we have in the exhibition floor. And also see all the panels that we're doing. I think it's a great lineup. It's with Lisa here and everyone else. We have one of the best lineups for a luxury show that I, I personally have ever seen. Um, and since I had a hand in developing it, I guess I'll take a little credit for it. But uh, it, it really is one of the one of the, one of the best shows that we've done. But again, Lisa, thanks so much, and we'll hope to hopefully see you soon. My pleasure, Jim. Take care. See you soon.